the elephant in the room, right? We have some big numbers um, associated with uh, four players, particularly our quarterback. We have a big cap number, and uh, all those players with the big cap numbers, it's not their fault. They're just good professionals that come in and do their job, and I want to be clear with that, but it's important to make sure we go through the process of, of finding the right ways to open up some cap space, and, and we have to add players and we have to improve this roster. The most important thing we do is assess makeup. We're working to build a championship roster one player at a time and in order to do that we have to make sure we bring in the right kind of players that, that fit our ethos. Smart, tough, competitive players that are wired the right way. Uh, allowing the scouts to kind of put all the work that they've done from August until Christmas time really and, and pour their hearts out. Uh, the clarity starts to come in terms of depth at each position but the wiring of the player, the makeup of the player, uh, type of kids that we're going to get when we draft them. So now we get into the the all-star games and you get into the combine and, and the pro days and, and you get the confirmed measurables because a lot of those players in those meetings, we don't even have confirmed measurables. We don't have 40 times. We don't have all the tests, but now we get all the testing numbers. You start meeting with them and, and going through that whole process. And so it's cool to go back to that point and know, okay, this is where we were on these players when it was just about football. If you handle this week the right way, it can be very productive. So uh, we're excited about being here. It's good to be back. I mean, it's, it's good to be in person. I, I like being around people and getting to know them. Everybody's got different strategies. I mean, you'll see it throughout the league. It makes it fun. So seeing guys come in there and they light up the room and they're, um, that's, you know, they can fake it for 18, 20 minutes. I've seen other guys that, you know, that's not their setting and you got to look at their body of work. As you get to know uh, every one of these players, you know, it's, you try to figure out how they learn, what they're about, what makes them tick. Because at the end of the day, this is a relationship business between coach and player, and I understand how they learn best. And this is, so this is just a small part of it as you're building this, as you're building kind of the, the, the entire bio. So when we get down in late in April, we make the best of it. I think another elephant in the room is, uh, are, are we rebuilding? Are, are we trying to win now? And I would say we're trying to have our cake and eat it too. We want to be smart. And, and we don't want to make decisions that are going to hurt us in future years, but we also want to build the best team that we can. We do a lot of work on our scouts, do a lot of work our coaches, do a lot of work on players. And when you go through the process the right way, you have to be confident and you look for conviction. And when scouts and coaches have a lot of conviction on players and they really believe in them, then we're excited to bring those players in. And, and you're right, you can't live in your fears and you can't worry. You, you want to be aggressive and, and, and do everything you can do to make a team, make a team better.